Well, heart disease is the number one killer in the United States for both men and women. But there are some things that you can change in your lifestyle to help prevent it. For your life, your health. New specialist Ayana Likens shares tips on how you can keep your heart healthy. The slow movements of Tai Chi have made a huge difference in 82-year-old Linda LaChaminot's health. Tai Chi, we're supposed to put both of our legs out straight for two minutes. That's really hard. Linda started exercising more about 25 years ago after she had a stroke. I was kind of concerned about my heart health at that point. That's when she started to see Dr. Elizabeth Joy, Senior Medical Director for Wellness and Nutrition at Intermountain Health. Linda's a great example of somebody who had a health condition had a health incident that really prompted her to look at her lifestyle and to say what do I need to do differently and you know she she just took it on with gusto. Dr. Joy says Linda is at high risk for heart disease and for another stroke so she needed to make some changes to her lifestyle like dieting and exercise. We say active at any age, active at any size, active with nearly every condition. So move your way, be active, and that will have a huge impact on your health. Dr. Joy says it's important to recognize your risk of heart disease. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes, elevated cholesterol, or you smoke, are overweight, not exercising, or you have a family history of heart disease, you're at risk. You know, we think about heart disease on some level as, you know, genetics loads the gun and environment pulls the trigger. And by environment, I really mean, you know, our personal environment. Dr. Joy says to keep your heart healthy, she recommends more sleep, more exercise, and a better diet. But to help with your diet, she recommends the plate method. She says to look at your plate, then divide it in half, then on one side and half again. The big side is for your fruits and veggies. The smaller two sides are for your whole grains and lean protein. And for Linda, she says eating better and exercising exercising more has truly made all the difference. I want to be as, as um, healthy as possible because I want to live a while. <laughs> and says it's never too late to make a change. You got to keep moving and tell yourself you can. For your life, your health. Ayanna Likens, KSL 5 News.